Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us at this session to talk about how Mobius can help you in teaching STEM subjects. My name is David Smith. I'm a technical consultant for Digital Ed. I joined the company around two years ago. And in my role, I go around, I help talk about the product to people who may be interested in trying it, training them on how to get the most out of it, and also share a lot of that feed, the feedback about the customer experience with our team over in, uh, in Canada. So if I just go ahead and share my screen. So a little bit about Digital Ed then. We are based in Waterloo, Canada, but we are partnered in schools around the world and we have an office in the UK. Uh, around 300, over 300 schools worldwide use Mobius uh, with around 300,000 students. And uh, last year we graded around just under 7 million uh, assessments automatically. And what Mobius is really focusing on is how we can improve the STEM offering, uh, particularly in teaching online. So it's, it can be, teaching the STEM subjects can present some really unique challenges. And what Mobius is hoping to do with the aid of its computer algebra system and some really good practices is to promote learning through a, a dynamic interaction with the system rather than a, than a passive part on the student, from the student. And it also facilitates through analytics and retaining data, the ability to use an evidence-based approach in how you develop your courses and deploy them. And also support, we're also supporting an ecosystem that makes it easy to access and share content. So how do we feel we improve the, experience, the student experience? The, so the main thing that Mobius does is really build that level of interactivity up. Uh, because we've got the computer algebra system powering us, we can do things like do some more interesting grading than you would be able to. Just things that are part of the core needs for the STEM subjects, really, like grading with equivalence or being able to randomise your questions. But it can go a little bit further than that. Maybe it can do things like asking open questions where we're testing the students' understanding of core mathematical principles rather than simply just asking the student to interpret the answer, maybe even extrapolate it from the question. Excuse me. As you mentioned, we've got analytics in throughout Mobius and that allows you to really tailor your uh, teaching approach based off the, the data and the engage, the sort of engagement that you're seeing from the students in, in the platform as time goes on. So yeah, Mobius really is tailored towards the STEM subjects and having that computer algebra system means that we can do deploy lots of really interesting question types that pertain to mathematics and the wider STEM disciplines. As far as general mathematics functionality goes, we've got, it understands mathematical equivalence both algebraically or in terms of say units. So if the answer was 10 millimeters, the student puts in one centimeter, you want it to be graded correctly. If the answer was x squared, the student put in x times x, that it might be that you want that to be graded correctly too, and maybe it allows for that. And also there's massive freedom in terms of the randomization of your, of your questions. You can create variables inside the question and also banks of questions to randomly select from. So you get a lot of freedom in terms of making it a unique test each time for the student. And that makes it a really powerful formative tool because that means that the student can keep practicing until they've really grasped Got an understanding of a concept. But if it's formative testing, we will see, based off the, the usage that we've seen with Mobius, students will have a few goes at a test just because they want to see if they can improve each time. And when it's different, that means that it, it, they really can because they're, they're learning the concepts underneath rather than how to, you know, just remembering what the answer is basically. So when we're looking at how we can get content for uh, these educational platforms. The content that we're seeing loaded into a lot, of, a lot of other offerings out there seems to come from two sources. It either comes from the publisher source like this, where it might be a textbook that's been moved online. And those are great because those have come from a, real, uh, a provider that you trust. But the problem is that they're usually locked down. You can't edit them, so you have to go by their, way, their approach to teaching whatever the subject may be. And that often it lacks a lot of the, the functionality that you need to teach STEM effectively. Your other option is open educational resources. Uh, those are great because they're usually free and you can just pick them up and they're often open so that you can, and as the name suggests, they're open so that you can 
ahead of them as you go and you can have you can adapt them to your course's needs but then again they usually seem to lack some of the functionality that we're looking for and the service and support around them is is often lacking what we're trying to do is get the best of both worlds there so Mobius is now pr comes pre-packaged with a lot of content and the beauty of that is that it's been developed by either our partner universities or our, pu or our partner publishers like OpenStax or the University of Waterloo but it's also open so you can take this content you can edit it you can just take specific pieces out of it that you think are really relevant and pertain to your teaching and you can also and you can apply change the custom skin whatever it may be and that really is something that's unique as far as what topics are available to be taught with the with the starter bun with, with the starter bundle there's there's a huge number and they're growing very quickly as, as time goes on we've uh, got a timeline of more being released and you can see there's a, a wide number of mathematical uh, disciplines being covered there the statistics one in particular is just statistics and probability and that's one that based off feedback we heard that customers were really excited to see because statistics is taught in a lot of places throughout the university and often service taught by the maths department where they're just looking for a more turnkey way of moving these courses online particularly looking towards uh, September of this year so how does Mobius fit in with your existing offering so Mobius will plug into your VLE uh, and the so that it can just expand the way in which it's it's helping the your STEM offering and really helping students who are learning the STEM subjects to get the, the best experience possible with the learning or assessment being moved online. Mobius will integrate I've, most of the time with, with LTI, so if you're using any of the any of the VLE environments like Moodle, Blackboard, Safari, all of those are going to integrate with Mobius successfully. If you've got another platform, that still means that Mobius, the chances are we'll be able to integrate because Mobius has a, a services API where you can have a really customized integration. So lots of, lots of options there. So I think now we're gonna jump straight into a look at Mobius. The two things I'm gonna look to show you today is an exam, a, couple, a lesson which covers a few of the learning based materials. These could be preparatory materials that a student takes before they arrive at the lecture or maybe even their course and then we'll also look at uh, a, another test that goes through some of the question types and we can look at some of the sorts of capabilities around Mobius' uh, assessment materials. Jumping into the lesson though. So the idea of a Mobius lesson is that it can be assembled kind of piecemeal with different blocks and you can very quickly arrive at a nice inter group of interactive materials for students to explore. You can see we had the video up earlier up at the top here and all of our mathematics are formatted in a standard mathematical no standard mathematical notation. We use LaTeX with MathJax for all of our formula and LaTeX is obviously a format that a lot of our academics are very familiar with and they're comfortable inputting the formula in LaTeX which is totally possible and because we use math, MathJax to render it that means that screen readers can interact with these formulas and uh, interpret them successfully, which for accessibility makes Mobius really powerful. And because you just need a browser, that also means that it's fully mobile device supported. So you can pick it up on a tablet and use Mobius totally successfully. One of the content types available in interactive narratives are these, in lessons, I'm sorry, are these interactive narratives. And what they do is they give the student a real guided path through the topic that's being taught. So you see this one's playing out quite similarly to a video, but it could be that we have to click to move between each, each of these pages. And what we can do at any point is we can create, insert a pause point. So it may be that we want to pause this to set the student a question or give them some materials to explore, maybe a video to watch, something to have a go with before they then continue with it. And what's nice about that is because it's pausing it for the student, it's forcing some engagement from them. Again, it's not making, leaving them to be passive in the learning experience. The other thing that's nice about these interactive narratives is that you can record backing vocals. So either within Mobius or as uploaded through an MP3, MP3, you can give the student a kind of cadence through which to follow this with the vocal added to it. And if there was a pause point, obviously pauses the vocal as well. You can insert notes so you can add a transcript of, 
uh, what was said. And also if you're reviewing this after the fact as a student, you can press the all slides button here and see a drop down view of everything. And here we see one of those interact, kind of interactive materials we mentioned, um, where you can drag sliders and, and change, change the output. And within, within the lesson environment, we can then ask questions. There are 15 different question types in Mobius, only two of them aren't automatically graded. The rest, the student can get immediate feedback and know exactly how they did and redirect their learning straight away. The response will be as much or as little as you'd like for them to receive. So if it was a formal test, you might not want them, want them to get immediate feedback. That's totally possible too. And here we need to see another example of an interactive narrative. This one's got more pause points through it as well. And we can see that it's really giving the it gives them a kind of guided step by step through. Now we mentioned that the questions can be randomised. This is a really nice uh, example of this, where you can press the try another button, and you can keep trying another example of the question. So I could get to something that I would find a little bit easier, maybe. So it could be something like, well, we can just pick it arbitrarily, can't we? So we can just pick something like that, go, how did I do? Well, not quite. I can see what my answer and the correct answer was. It was actually C. So I could try another based off the feedback that I got and see if I can get it this time round. And that's is what making that's a really good example of what makes Mobius such a form, powerful formative tool. And here's another one. So here you can see where it's being asked for us to put it in kind of plain text mathematics format, and it's being very specific with the sort of format it wants to see. Uh, you get the choice of whether you want them to input it in this way or with nice kind of latent based maths. Both are totally possible and there may be that uh, different, you, you choose differently based on what it is you're trying to test. And you can also embed interactive materials inside Mobius. So here's an example of that here. The University of Colorado has uh, a wonderful kind of library of these different simulations called FET and because FET comes with HTML embed code it makes it very easily to quickly bolt it into and use in your teaching throughout Mobius. So it's, it's you know you just have to kind of copy and paste the embed code into the lesson here or it could be a question and then it would be available for you straight away by the student. FET is just one example YouTube is another, that comes with HTML embed code, also Panopto. Uh, lots of our partner universities are moving over to Panopto for lecture capture. Any of any Panopto videos can be embedded in Mobius as well. So that's an example of uh, a few different lessons available in Mobius. Looking at the subjects, you can see calculus, algebra and physics. So again, we're seeing the breadth of what Mobius can do. Looking to some of the question types though. So the maple graded questions, these are uh, the really kind of fun ones if you ask me, because they're the ones where you're asking it in an open way. So it could be give a list of five numbers whose median is six. So there's an that's an open question with lots of different possible responses. This is another example, provide an equation of any line that passes through this point. And as long as the response is mathematically valid, which is to say that it does pass through that point, it will be graded correctly. And because the, and, but it allows for the infinite number of possible responses that would answer that question. And it means that you can test how the student understands the concept and the conceptual knowledge of the topic rather than their ability to kind of interpret the question and extrapolate the answer from that as if it was say a multiple choice question. And all of these you can see have try another button. So all of these have got randomization. All of them I can keep trying until I'm happy and ready to move on. So obviously you're going to want to answer numeric questions at a certain point. Uh, there's lots of options with this. One of the nice things about Mobius is really friendly with the, the equivalence that it understands. So I'm just going to get the answer for this because my orbital dynamics is 
not what it used to be, which is to say never ever that good. So answer is 16 kilometers a second, right? So we could go 16,000 meters per second, which is mathematically equivalent. Press how did I do? And it grades it correctly. Even though the teacher said to expect it in kilometers per second, Mobius understands the equivalence of 16,000 meters per second. That said, if you was wanted to be specific about the units you're looking for, you can be. Mobius is all about how you want to be using this and how you want to be deploying these lessons or tests. There's huge numbers of settings around the test, most many of which can be automatically applied through a policy set now. Moving on, so we've got sketching environments as well, where we can uh, very quickly sketch a parabola, as it's been asking for here. Let's try to get this one wrong. And we'll press how did I do? And we can see that I'm off there. What's nice about these questions is that it doesn't have to be pixel perfect in how accurate, accurate it is. It can be a little bit out and there's a margin for error built into it such that it's not going to be too unkind to you. So you can see that's great to do that correctly there, even though that's you know not quite exactly what the student, what the teacher had defined as the answer. Jump onto the previous page. We can look at this one is what we're looking for. So you can create. Uh, materials in HTML. So because the Mobius content is written in HTML, kind of as a web page, it means that you can you can basically code it yourself if you if you uh, are feeling are feeling uh, like that would be of interest to you. So totally possible this is something that was uh, developed inside of Mobius and coded and it's uh, a really nice fun example. These math apps that you bring in from Maple is another example of them. For anyone who's uh, teaching physics, you can then resolve some of the forces at play uh, on these objects. I was never particularly good at mechanics, um, as we'll probably see. And I'm using the the drag the mouse here, but if I wanted to be very specific about the angle that I'm looking for, that's great. We can use we can use this too. And I think these interactive materials like this are really good at demonstrating how you can they can help to teach an abstract concept and that visualizing it sometimes like this is a lot easier makes it a lot easier to grasp what's going on than if you were to be watching a video or reading text about how to how to create a free body diagram there's a couple of really versatile ones that have question types that have loads of different possible implementations so clickable image questions here we've got it saying select the wrong line of the incorrect line of code. Uh, then we've got select the correct parts of the cell. So again, there's lots of different possible implementations, applications of this times, and this may be useful. Similarly, I think as um, Jess mentioned in the session that she spoke about Mobius in earlier uh, yesterday, she mentioned how the how the sorting one like this is quite a, is quite a popular one with students. As is the as is the matching, the matching response time. And we also have a couple of free response areas because there may be some instances where you actually really like to engage with the student's response yourself and mark it manually. That's also totally possible in Mobius. And it may be that there's some long you want to check understand the longer form thinking. So this is a good one, which is based on. Uh, one that would be given to medical students where you would want to know their thought pattern, their kind of thought path through this and uh, you'd want to know what, how they calculated how much to administer and the dosages. And this is actually a, a quite a popular, well, this is a, a, a use of Mobius that we see over at the University of Windsor and it's because these dosage tests have to be, they have to get 100% on them because obviously it's a very important area of their field. And with Mobius being a formative tool, it makes it that the pass rate of those tests can then go up because the students can keep practicing. 
And you also have the document upload. So you can see there's lots of different file, file types that are supported for students to upload, upload in. So it may be taking a photo of their work. It may be like we see here where it's saying draw the next image in the sequence. Again, loads of different times when this may be useful for you. So that's just a little snapshot of what's available inside Mobius from a student perspective and how the student how the student experience might be improved by using Mobius. I think speaking from my own point of view, you know, it was when I was introduced to Mobius a couple of years ago, it was not long after graduating from doing computer science, and we had a couple of quite maths focused modules there which were all taught on on pen and paper and it surprised me that you know this wasn't around more um because i would have found it really useful to you know in learning things like data structures or matrix theorem to have a more kind of interactive way with engaging it engaging with the materials um so a, a good example of that is i used a uh I use an online app called Visualgo to help kind of learn different sorting algorithms and with Mobius I then made a question where I use Visualgo and embedded it in the question and it's you know because the my thoughts is that Mobius can bring together a lot of different a lot of different areas and tools that you use in your teaching and make it that it's it, it really does improve the improve the the experience for the student and we do have case studies that do that show that happening. Uh, there's one with the University of Chalmers where they saw using Mobius for their summer maths course really sure that showed the pass rates for said maths course improving massively over the next couple of years, uh, improving from I think the percentage the pass percentage was in the 60s to went up to around 96. So really really good good results from that case study uh, that I'd encourage any of you to to have a read of. If you're interested in finding out more about Mobius, uh, please feel free to go onto our website and book a demo. Uh, you could also reach out to myself, I'm uh, dsmith at digitaled.com and obviously I'm also available to take questions and have any, any discussion with the time that we've got left. So thank you for your time.